And the Victorian government says its big ticket infrastructure projects will be delayed because they missed out on funding in last night's budget. Ted Bailey has accused Canberra of ignoring Victoria's needs and says it'll take time to find alternative sources of funding. While the Premier was opening and touring a new factory in Melbourne's inner west, there was one clear message he wanted to communicate to Victorians. Victoria has been shortchanged in the federal budget. That's incredibly disappointing. Ted Bailey is lamenting the lack of infrastructure spending in Victoria. There is no money in the budget for support for the East West Link or support for the Metro, Metro Rail Tunnel or support for the Port of Hastings or support for Avalon. We're incredibly disappointed about that. The Bailey government has been criticised for its own lack of infrastructure investment and Canberra won't be filling the breach. Of the three major new infrastructure projects announced in the budget, two of them are in New South Wales and one in South Australia, so Victoria really has missed out. The state had asked for $30 million to assist project development for the East-West Link. It was rejected. It was a modest ask for an important project and it's disappointing it hasn't been supported. Employer and industry groups agree. We need to have an efficient transport system and whether that is that, whether it's East West Link or maybe the Port of Hastings, those types of issues really need to be developed as much as we possibly can to improve our productivity in the state. Tim Piper says transport infrastructure spending creates jobs in construction and improves the efficiency of manufacturing. Victoria is reliant more than any other state on its manufacturing and indeed is not a resources state. So it's important that we have as much support being given to um, those industries that are seeking it as possible. Maybe next year, but don't bet on it. Guy Stainer, ABC News, Melbourne.